Hey everyone, welcome back to Story Time with Kate Mazeris. Today I'm going to be sharing a blog from Yoga Off the Mat called My Cook and Shoe. Uh, I hope you enjoy this one. I just got back from a twilight walk in my neighborhood. What a lovely autumnal season we've had this year in Northwest Ohio. The leaves have been at peak color, and although a few windy days have caused the trees to shiver their colorful halos to the ground, a kaleidoscope of reds and yellows and oranges still decorates my hometown. It's a daily ritual these days, a walk at the park or up and down the tree-lined streets in West Toledo. Fall is my favorite time of year, and I'm grateful that this time around I can look up and appreciate the changing season. Last year, Steve and I were going through the early stages of his illness, so every moment was filled with doctor's visits, chemotherapy, or dealing with symptoms that seemed to intensify daily. I remember using every spare moment while Steve was resting to clean up the gardens and prepare them for winter. As I pruned the bloomerang lilac outside our back porch, I wondered to myself, will Steve be alive to see this in the spring? Sadly, he wasn't here to watch it bloom in late April and again in July. But when it miraculously sprouted a few periwinkle flowers last week, I smiled and thought, even now, as winter approaches, there's always new growth and quiet miracles to be discovered. It's been an intense time for the United States for years, and, two, and in two days, the American people will vote for the kind of country they want to live in. It's been stressful and maddening and un, often unbelievably difficult to read the headlines. Back in 2016 and again in 2020, whenever election season came around, I made sure to take a daily walk, but that often wasn't enough to calm my nerves. Yoga and meditation and mindfulness helped me recenter, but I couldn't spend all evening on my mat. So back then I found another delightful form of distraction. If Steve wandered into the living room and asked, what are you watching? I would smile and do my best Ed Sullivan announcing, my cooking shoe. Steve would often joke that I could spend 30 minutes perusing Netflix and still land on the Great British Bake Off every single night. Truth be told, I still do. It's comforting to watch a group of people come together for the love of baking. Even though it's a competition, they become a family that lasts well belong well beyond filming, encouraging and helping each other, always creating incredible masterpieces I could never dream of. That's the reason I watch my cooking show, to lose myself in the luxury of what for me is an art in motion and to watch humanity at its best. This current season has been simultaneously hilarious, bittersweet, and a welcome respite from the world's many crises. Would that we all have a dear, witty friend like Nellie, or a kind and gentle coworker like Georgie, or a fun-loving sibling like Andy. Week after week, the eclectic group of bakers never ceases to entertain and amaze me, and it's heartbreaking to see who is eliminated. Yet when someone goes home, he or she always says how grateful they are, how much they've learned, how proud they are to be a part of such an incredible group of bakers. Every day I wake up before dawn and pray for the world, my country, my city, my neighborhood, my friends and family, and those in need. I am keenly aware of the tragedies of all of us living on planet Earth. And I often wonder, wouldn't it be a wonderful world if we could live in a bake-off bubble? Wouldn't it be grand to know that what makes us different is also what makes us unique? Wouldn't we all be in a better mindset if we took the time to simply do our best and encourage others to do the same, even if it might mean we don't always advance as we might want to? Alas, even though Bake Off is a reality show, it is not the reality we are experiencing right now. Still, as autumn winds bring uncertain change in the week ahead, I'm thankful that I can retreat for an hour and watch my cooking show to be reminded that people can be kind and loving, that self-confidence is created one showstopper at a time, and that variety is not only the spice of life, 
but also the main ingredient in baking something that garners a highly coveted Paul Hollywood handshake. By the time we find out who is the Bake Off winner in December, my country will be on a new trajectory. One I pray reflects the highest good for all its citizens. Until then, I look forward to Friday mornings when I brew a cup of coffee and enjoy time with the Bake Off crew, grateful for an hour's respite to recenter, relax, and be able to re-enter the world from a more peaceful place. And always, I am encouraged to be on the lookout for miracles in the midst of change. <laughs>